okay guys welcome to engineers academy uh, do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve these two problems which are related to this same figure so the problem says that the 25 kg flower part is supported at a by the three cords determine the force acting in each cord for equilibrium and in the second problem it is said that if each cord can sustain a maximum tension of 50 newton before it fails determine the greatest weight of the flower part the cards can support so we will find we will find the generic equation for both of these problems and then we will apply the condition of these two problems to find the tension in each cable for this problem and then to find the maximum weight uh, that can be supported so let's say that the tension in this AD cable is let's say T1. Let me write that this is let's say T1. The tension in this AC cable is let's say T2. And let's say the tension in this cable is T3. And the weight of the part is acting vertically downwards. So this is the weight. Now, as we can see that this T1 is making 30 degree with the YZ plane. So this line is present in the YZ plane. So it is making 30 degrees with the YZ plane. So if I resolve it into its component, so it will have one component in the YZ plane. This will be T1 YZ. And similarly, it will have one component in the along the x axis is so this will this will be t1 x component so we are going to consider this triangle so uh, we can write that this t1 y z this is the cos component so i will write this is this will be t1 since the angle with this component is 30 degree angle so this is t1 cos of 30 degrees and similarly, this x component of the T1, this is sine component. So we can write that this is T1 sine of 30. Now, once we resolve this, then we can resolve this T1 cos of 30 into its components as well. So it will have one component which will be acting in the negative y direction. This one will be the component of this. And since we are having 60 degree angle here, so then this will be T1 cos of 30 sine of 60 since it is opposite to that uh, 60 degree angle and similarly uh, one of its components is going to act in this direction so this one is t1 cos of 30 and that will be cos of 60 let me write this is t1 cos of 30 cos of 60 so this is the x component of this T1, this is the y component and this is the z component. So now we can write this T1 as a Cartesian vector. So T1 Cartesian vector that will be equal to this T1 sine of 30 in the, this is acting in the positive i direction so I will write i. Then this component this is in the negative j so I will write minus T1 cos of 30 sine of 60 j and then this is t1 this is in the positive z so i will write plus t1 cos of 30 cos of 60 in the positive k so now if we simplify this this is sine of 30 so this is 0.5 so we can write this t1 vector this is 0.5 t1 minus this cos of 30 sine of 60 this is 0 0.75 cos of uh, 30 into sine of 60 this gives us 0 0.75 so this is 0 0.75 t1 this is in the j this is in the i and this is if we simplify this this is 0 0.433 t1 in the k now if we look into t2 so t2 is making that same angle 30 degrees with the with this line right so now we can write we can say that this is t2 cos of 30 and similarly uh, and this will be its x component this will be its x component this is acting in the negative x so this will be t2 
sine of 30. And similarly, again, if we resolve this T2 cos of 30, then this will be T2 cos of 30 cos of 60. This T2 cos of 30 cos of 60, and this will be T2 cos of 30 sine of 60. So, as we can see that we can write that T2 vector directly. This is T2 sine of 30, this is 0.5 T2, and this is acting in the negative i. So, that will be minus 0 0.5 T2 i. And then we have this uh, same component is that T1, which is acting in the negative j. So that is minus 0 0.75 T2. And then this is 0 0.433 T2 in the positive case. So 0 0.433 T2 in the positive k. So the only difference is in the x component of T1 and T2. So, T2, the x component is in the opposite direction as that of T1. Now, we can write T3, that T3, T3 is making 45 degrees with the line which is parallel to the z-axis. So, now if we resolve this T3 into its component, so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this, and it will have one another component which will be acting in this direction. So this is again, if this is T3 and the angle is made with this component, then this is the cos component. We can write that this is T3 cos of 45 and this component is T3 sine of 45. And there is no component along the x-axis. So we can write this T3. So its i component is 0. Then this is T3 sine of 45 and sine of 45 is 0 0.707 and it is acting along the positive j. So, I will write plus 0 0.707 T3 in the positive J and then 0 0.707 in the positive K. 0 0.707 T3 in the positive K direction. And the weight is acting vertically downward. So, that will be its magnitude. Let's say that the right magnitude is, let's say, W. So, that is W in the negative K. So now, since the system is in equilibrium, we want to find T1, T2, and T3. So for that, I have to apply the uh, summation of forces along the x-axis is equals to 0 and the summation of forces along y and z-axis is equal to 0. So the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So we have to add up all the i components. So this is 0 0.5 T1 minus 0 0.5 T2. And the i component of T3 is 0 and the i component of that weight is 0. So that this will be equal to 0. And from this we can write that minus 0 0.5 T2 is equal to 0 0.5 T1. So 0 0.5 will cancel. This will, this will also become minus. So this will cancel out. So T2 is equal to T1. So T2 is equal to T1. Now the summation of forces along the y-axis is that will be equal to 0. So we have to add up all the j components. So this is minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.75 t, t1 and this is t1 and this is minus 0 0.75 t2 and now t2 is equal to t1. So in place of t2, I will write t1 and then this is plus 0 0.707 T3 and the J component of the weight is also 0 so that will be equal to 0. So now if we add up so this is 2 times 0 0.75 T1 and 2 times 0 0.75 is 1.5 so this is minus 1.5 T1 and from this if I bring this to the other side so T, T3 will be equal to 1.5 T1 divided by 0 0.707. This is 1.5 divided by 0 0.707. This gives us 2.122. T3 is equal to 2.122 T1. So this is second equation. This is first equation. This is second equation. And now if we add up all the K component that is along the z axis is that will be equal to 0. So this is 0 0.433, 0 0.433 T1. Then that is 0 0.433 T2. 
and this is 0 0.7073 t3 so t2 is equal to t1 and if we add up both of these so this is twice of this and t3 is in terms of t1 we can write that that is 2.122 2.122 t1 and then this weight so that is minus w and that is equal to 0 and if I bring this w to the other side so that will become positive now we can add up uh, both of these terms since they only involve t1 so this is like this so this is 2 times 0 0.433 plus 0 0.707 into 2.122 this gives us 2.366 2.3661 mm. equals to w now we have these three equations this is equation one this is two and this is three so now for the solution of that 356 problem let me write that 356 solution so in that it is said that the 25 kg flower pot so the weight is given so weight is 25 into 9.81 and 25 into 9.81 is this is 245.25 newtons this is 245.25 newtons so now if we know the weight we can find t1 using equation 3 so from equation 3 we can write that t1 is w divided by 2.366 and the weight is known which is 245.25 so 245.25 divided by 2.366 so this gives us t1 equals to 103.6 or we can say that this is approximately equal to 104 newtons so T1 is equal to 104 newtons if the part has a mass of 25 kgs. And similarly, as we know that T2 is equal to T1, so we can write that T1 is equal to T2 is equal to 104 newtons. And similarly, we can find T3 since T3 is in terms of T1, that is T3 is 2.122 and T1 is 104. So that uh, the same answer multiply by 2.122 this gives us approximately 220 so t3 is 220 newtons so now this is the solution of that 356 problem in which the mass of the part is given now in the second this 357 problem it is said that if each part can sustain a maximum tension of 50 newtons before it fails determine the greatest weight now we have to find the greatest weight that can be supported and if the tension in each card cannot exceed 550 uh, newtons so now if you look into these three equations as we can see that t2 is equal to t1 and t3 is equal to 2.122 times t1 so this means that t3 is carrying the maximum tension right so we will write that the solution of uh, 357 we need to find the maximum weight so now from that those three equations t3 carries the maximum tension and we assume let's assume that t3 is carrying that maximum tension which is given and that is 50 newton this is given right so this t3 is 50 newtons now if t3 is 50 newtons we can find t1 right since from this equation 2 we can write that t1 is t3 divided by 2.122 and t3 is 50 since we have assumed that t3 is under maximum tension so that is 2.122 so that is 50 divided by 2.122 so this gives us t1 equals to uh, 23.56 so t1 is 23.56 newtons and now if t1 is known we can find that weight 
from using this equation 3. Now from equation 3 weight is 2.366 times this T1. This is 23.56. So this is uh, 2.366 multiplied by 23.56 and this gives us the maximum weight that can be supported is 55.74. This is 55.74 Newtons. And since we know that T from equation 1, T1 is equal to T2, so T2 will be equal to T1 equals to 23.566, right? So if T3 is maximum, T3 is 50 Newtons, the maximum weight that can be supported is 55.74 and T2 and T1 need to be less than that 50 Newton. So T2 is equal to T1, which is equal to 23.56, and that is less than 50 Newton. So this will be the maximum weight that can be supported. And now if we were asked to find the mass, then we can say that uh, this is mass times G. Mass times G equals to 55.74, and we can find that mass if we divide uh, by that G value, which is 9.81. So that 55.74, that answer divided by 9.81, this gives us the mass which is 5.68, 5.68 kgs. So for that condition, if the tension in each cord cannot exceed 50 Newton, the maximum weight that can be supported is 57.74 and that 55.74 Newton weight corresponds to 5.68 kg mass. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Also subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Statics.